This house shall not be divided. Through the anointing on this place, we shall live in Cornonia and stand. Matthew 12, 25. So be it. Through the anointing on this place, we shall abide according to the house rules of conduct. There will be no controversy. Through Yeshua, Yahweh seen in the flesh. 1 Timothy 3, 15 and 16. So be it. Come, let's come with one mind and one accord and pray. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you have made. Father, we thank you for being in control of every area of our lives, Father. Every area in this ministry. Father, we just submit to you and ask that you just have your way in our, in our hearts and our minds, Father. Help us to hear your word, Father. Help us to hear your instructions. Give us that heart and that mind to put you first in every part of our lives, Father. And as we go forth and be those soldiers, those warriors that you called us to be, help us to be that light, Father. Help us to shine, Father, and draw people unto you. Help us to abide by that calling or that instructions that Yeshua said to go and spread this word, Father. We ask that you just move in this place and have your way, Father. Have your way in the name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. 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 Come on, put those hands together for your Heavenly Father once a day. Welcome to Outreach. Woo! You may be seated. Yay. It's been a long time since we met for Outreach. It is. Very long time. Long time, long time. A um, couple of things I want to say before um, we're going to pass. Like we're going to pass just over to Pastor. Is that just a quick year in review, right? Yes, quick year in review. We haven't met a lot, primarily because we had a lot of change challenges this year. Oh. A awful lot of challenges this year. Yes, and so um, our outreach was done individually a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> to let the yes. To let our light shine and draw people to Yeshua by our actions, our deeds. Um, and that is necessary for us to do. But as a ministry, we also <laughs> need to make sure that we're doing what we're supposed to do, what the Father wants us to do. So I encourage you to get the cards, get um, flyers, whatever you need um to spread the word to invite people as the father leads you amen. amen you may pass out 50 flyers and one person come and their life is changing it's well worth it so let me encourage you to continue to do that uh, send emails if you want to fly on an email i can send it to you and you send it to through the um, internet to your folks amen, amen. And also, many people probably forgot about this, but when our pastor did the outreach, he gave us a project to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, we were given um, some numbers and we had to pick something. I mean, we had to pick a number and then that number was assigned to some items. And we were supposed to seek the Father and see what he wanted us to do with those items, right? Right. Yeah, so just a, repro just a reminder that um, we should be done with it, yes. And uh, so when he calls for it, it should be ready. So just a reminder that if it's not done, how many people did it? No, don't raise your hand, don't do it. Don't do it, don't even say it. But anyway, we need to just get it done. You notice I'm saying we. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Draw the plan out, write out step by step exactly what the Father said to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Any, um, let's see. Anything anybody want to say concerning outreach this year? Any comments? Uh, I missed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Any ideas? Please submit them to me. We're going out as a group to minister. Remember, we can't do a lot of heavy labor, but we can do something. All right, all right, come on, put those hands together and welcome your pastor to the front. You have a question? Uh, we're gonna have to take a five minute break while they come up a few. 
Okie dokie. We're going to take a five minute break, soldiers. Wake up. And while, 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 while we do that, yes, um, I would like to just kind of put a pinpoint in here. We, I, at the end, if we can all come together and quickly work and clean, do some cleaning. Boy! <laughs> It'll be done really quickly if we all work together. I mean, come on and uh, let's take our five minute break and give the father a hand for our pastor. <laughs> <laughs>
what he said at the end of this song. Oh, <laughs> 
all the hands clapping for you. Yeah. Before we get started, I want to read this one scripture. Uh, you know it very well, but I want to make sure you get it in your system today. It's in Psalms. It says, sing unto God, sing praises to his name, and stole him that rised upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. Amen. 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 One, one more time, give the Father a hand, cut the You know I read that because I want you to see that everything we do is a praise. The the minus wrote a song, everything you touch is a song I'm talking about it. Yeah. And um one reason why I wanted to read that so you could see why we call him Yah. Everything we do, if we do it unto him, we represent him, it's a praise unto him, and the scripture tells us when we praise him, when we sing, when we extol him, when we exalt him, do it by this authority, Yahweh. Yeah, the self is this good. So that's why I want to get that in your system. Uh, somebody tell me uh, uh, what three songs I played. Go ahead, Chanel. Cartoon song. Um, hold on, I had it. Soldiers, and it was right there, then I got distracted. Um, well, yeah, um, work it, work it hard. Working. <laughs> yeah, working. <laughs> Cartoon songs. Cartoon songs. Uh, soldiers and Breaking Hard. Somebody want to tell me why would I play those three songs uh, when we're talking about outreach? Real quick. Go ahead, Come on, give you another hand for sharing, too. Right? Because um, when we're doing outreach, we're working, working hard, and we have to be soldiers in this fight. And the other one, because you wanted to see us smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, come on, go ahead. That was good. That was good. Uh, that was good. Go ahead, uh, Brandy. Because all three talk about um, the job that we have to do as. Um, Soldiers of Christ. I don't want to use that word. <laughs> As people try to show the anointing to others. Uh, come on, give me a hand for that. <laughs> that. Well, that's pretty much it. All of them talked about being in service, being called for a specific job and a duty. Uh, duty. Do uh, the cartoon song emphasized that it's not their job to praise them. That's our job. Yeah, we could laugh and, and joke about it, whatever they could, but that's our job. You don't know about doing your job. You have a job that you're supposed to do. And soldiers talk about where soldiers at. And I want them to get in your system because the scripture tells us that um, that no no man that is in war, because we are at war, entangles himself in the affairs of this life. In other words, you don't let things or outside circumstances or uh, things stop you from doing what you know you have to do in, in, in war. You don't get caught up in that. Uh, you're a soldier, and this is a war. You're an ambassador, you're a soldier, you're all these things. Uh, and the last one, working, working, working hard. Uh, and and Camille was right, you know, it, it's, it's, it's about hard work. But at, at the same time, when you look at the song, look, what each of us was talking about in the song was specifically working hard, causing damage. So
starts out, it's time to work, not to work. It ain't time to play. That's time and season for everything. Mm -hmm. you know, Brother M.T. said, you know, his time, when it was his time, you know, he was going to do it, whatever it takes, you know, that, that's the focus of that during my time frame. And uh, me, I just went all over the place. Um, Whatever, whatever. I'm gonna help you see how it's a better place to be. Don't get in despair. Don't let despair take you out. All of us talking about working, even in yourself. Don't let despair stop you from working. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, why are you going there, Pastor? Because you know some things that I want to say and, and go into, and I'm gonna be quick about it, quick as I can possibly. But I gotta get across what the Father wants me to get across. I mean, y'all with me? Yes, sir. So, so we got those songs down. We got those things down. And uh, this is uh, things I'm going to read first. First of all, when I recall these names, uh, I want you to holler back at me if you're here. Uh, man, it's she. Man, it's she. Man, 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 man. Smell, smell, smell. Uh, you know, me, me and quiet just, I don't know, mm. I don't know, we're quiet too much. I have to listen to music. I have to listen to music. Okay. That's distracting. That's distracting? Yes. Mm -hmm. Quiet show is. Mm -hmm. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. BRB. Hmm? BRB. Uh, Lanelle McCall. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, oh, there it is. But Liam M. McCall. Yes! And Parnell L. McCall. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, yeah! Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Colonel L. McCall. Big Neil is in there. It's out. Um, do, I call these names, and I call them, and I call them, and I call you because you were called. You were called. Say, I was called. I was called. You were called. The names that I read, each one of you are an officer in RTM. Senior R. Morgan, Ministry Assistant. Montreal L. McCall, Ministry Assistant. Jarrell McCall, Ministry Assistant. Senior R. Morgan, Armor Bearer. Amira Morgan, Commission Steward. Janelle E. McCall, Media Minister. One R. McCall, Minister. Uh, Linnell McCall, Elder, Secretary, Treasurer. Belina McCall, Elder, Vice President. Point out McCall, Pastor, President. Called for a purpose, called for a job, called for a position. The called out one. Say I'm the called out one. I'm the called out one. See, and that's what a a a what they call the church is. That's what a ministry is. Amen. 
is, 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 is people called out to yes. do a job. Right. A job. A job. A job. A job. You're called out. And, and, and the reason why I put it and I, uh, in the light there, so you can wake up and realize you got a job to do. Because we got people, and when I call your name, holler back. We got people like Jonathan. Abigail. Holla back. You ain't gonna holla back? Get out. Fire. Get out. <laughs> Yeah. Here we go, Michael. I'm kidding. Just sit down. Chill. I'm just playing with you. We have people out there that need you to do your job. They're up and coming, and they're trying to learn. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Y'all didn't have fun like I said, but I'm gonna show you something. Can I show you something? Mm -hmm. We'll do it anyway. Uh, 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 we're called for a position, we're called for a time. Uh, scripture says, we're right here, I'm going to do it. Say, I am called. I am called. And you too. All right, now I'm going to read from Matthew 18 and 8. Matthew 18 and 8. And I'm telling you, I am going somewhere. I haven't got the notes that I offered to send. I know Mr. Warner got it. You got it, Mr. Trey? You, you, you tried to use them? Did they help you out? They didn't? Oh, you didn't try to use them? Okay. Uh, you anybody try to use them yet? I uh, offered last night to send the, my notes that I used for the last, for a fourth night message to help you understand anybody who need it and you can use it as a study guide. Um, and Chanel, did you ask for the notes? I didn't think so. Was it sure I mean, you were raising hand or not? Y'all let Matthew 8 yet? Not yet, I'm going to y'all doing? I heard 18 too. Matthew 18 and 8. Oh. What did I say? I don't know. Why right? is Matthew 18 and 8? I wrote down Matthew 18 and 8. Alrighty. Oh, Matthew 18 and 8. And it reads, somebody read that for me, please. Which one? Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off, and cast them from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life halt or maimed, rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. Okay, that, that can mean a whole bunch of stuff, but right now I just... Somebody tell me, why am I reading that? What would make me say that and we talking about... Why would I bring Come on, you know. Talk, why would I bring that verse? I think you would bring that verse up because when it comes to outreach and we know that we have a job to do, sometimes our flesh gets in the way or things just come at us where, you know, it fights against us. And it's like, well, if this opposing force is going to stop you from delivering the message that Yah has or for doing the work that Yah has as soldiers to do, then you cut it off. Like, you just to kick it back, kick it in the teeth, and keep on going, do what y'all told you to do. Exactly. Come on, give your hands for that. Exactly. Yeah. If, and I want to emphasize your hand, not somebody else's, your foot, your hand, trying to stop you from doing, you, your flesh, you, trying to stop you from doing your job. Your responsibility, what you are called out to do, and it's more than just a little RTM, but it's, 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 it's still, that's part of what you're called to do. Yes. What, if it's trying to stop you from doing it, cut it off. How do I cut it off? You use the sword of the spirit, what we talked about. 
Then you cut it off using the word. That's all that's for. But you don't let it stop you. Luke 9 chapter. Luke, Luke, Luke. Luke, 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 Luke. Luke 9 chapter. Verse 59, 59, 59. Luke 9 and 59. 9 and 59. And when you get it, somebody read it for me. And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Keep going all the way to the end. Jesus said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but me first, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Jesus said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Get out of here. Somebody tell me. Why is he the Why I read that verse? <laughs> because we're supposed to do what the Spirit tells us first and not let distractions and all these other excuses come into play and delay what God has told us to do. Oh man, come on, give your hand. Somebody tell me what Elder just said. Distractions. Distractions. What else? Chanel? <laughs> she said. Go ahead, Mr. Warner. She said, uh, let the do the spirit says first. Yup. Come on. What else, Chanel? Yep. Yeah, come on, give me some hand. Um, that we're supposed to do what the Spirit says first and don't let distractions. <laughs> I feel like I'm just repeating what they said. Yep, I was open water. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give up your hand. Let's <laughs> see. Let's see. Let the dead bury the dead. All oh, these are family problems. Let me go bury my father first. That's a serious thing. Mm -hmm. And she said, let the dead bury the dead. Why he told him to do something. Follow me. You got an opportunity to learn from the most high. You told him, let me go bury my father first. Wow. You have an opportunity to get a word straight from y'all. But you let natural things. Yeshua is a resurrection and a life. You ought to be running to him. But you let natural thing, what people going to say or what, oh, I got this right here. I got this responsibility. You sure know what you got. If he say follow me, he know what's going on. Follow him. Let the dead bury their dead. Those who are not connected to the life. That's who dead people are. Uh, and the second one, he goes on, he said, no man have put his hand to the plowshare, whatever, is, is fit for the kingdom. He tell this man, this, this is Yah son talking, the only God. And he said, he tells me, he said, follow me. Lord, I will follow thee, but let not, he do say, I will follow thee, let thee, excuse me. Yeshua didn't tell him to follow him. He volunteered to follow him. He was minding somebody else's business. He said, Lord, I'll follow you, but let me just go say bye to my folks. <laughs> Yeshua didn't call him. He, he called himself. Wow. He's trying to do somebody else's job. And he said, but let me go do something else first. And Yeshua said, no man who put their hand on the flowers here and look back is fit. He ain't ready. Yeah. That was sure. So he ain't, he ain't ready. His mind still on corner things. He's not ready for that job. He's not ready for that. See, he called you, and if you do what you're supposed to do, you'll be do, and do a great job. 
he'll do it through you. But if you busy looking at somebody else and say, oh, I, I do it, he, he, if he don't do it, I, I do it. Mm -hmm. I got it, I do it. And then you get in there and say, oh man, I never got over there. Oh, let me do this first. Y'all listen. So everybody say, what I am doing what I am doing is not as important is not as important as what I'm supposed to be doing. As what I'm supposed to be doing. What you're supposed to be doing is the most important thing in your life at that particular moment in time. And that's what Yah tells you to do. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. In this ministry, you got some more for you. I also see, too, with the um, first part of that, when you say the dead, buried, the dead, I see it's, it's at least in me. Sometimes I get so much in my routine. This is always the way that I've done it, the way I've been taught to do it. And, okay, he's telling me to do it in a different way this time. Don't go bury the dead. You know, normally you do have a funeral. You know, you do go and weep and you do this and that. But right now, it's trying to do something different. And for me, a, a lot of times it's hard to, you know, even though you know the Spirit is telling you, get out of that routine. You, you got to put it aside and do it the way He said do it. Amen. Oh, Come on. Let's, let's, let's. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I mean, you got to put that stuff away. One, one, one day you're going to graduate from the childish way. Think, think back to the beginning of this year. Think how your mind was. How you used to think. Now think where you're at now. That's a long way. Some people say, I still think the same way. Some people say, I didn't even remember that. Before. Okay. Yes. But the way you think now, think me contemplate in my mind, is completely different. As you grow up, you might have grown bigger, you might have grown flower. It's great to learn. Knowledge is power. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you get way more sight as you get taller. When you're short, you can only see what's in front of you. But if you look up and get taller, you can look over the horizon yeah, and see and get a better circumspect. As you grow up, you know, that's the way it is. You get a better circumspect. Are you listening to me? Right. In this ministry, we have this thing called Gibeon. Mm -hmm. We have a covenant with Gibeon and Yah, RTM and Gibeon. Is a covenant. Somebody tell me what a covenant is. A promise, own promise, mm -hmm. and agreement Foul. between the people and the stuff. I saw all the things. Say it in the mic. Come on, come on. Say it in the mic. What is a covenant? <laughs> we do covenant vows and contract every week. Somebody please tell me what a covenant is. Go ahead, and an agreement between Yah and his people in which Yah requires certain behavior uh, in return, something like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be Yah and his people, but agreement between two or more people. Yes. Yeah. Are you listening to it? Come on, give a hand for that definition. We have RTM and Gibeon. Can somebody, anybody, somebody, anybody, stop hiding the nail? Stop hiding the Can somebody, anybody, tell me what does Gibeon mean? Give that man a cupcake. What? That's my cupcake. Say it in the mic, brother MG. High hill. A high hill. Yes. Deep in the hall of the high hill. There was a hobbit home. 
in the Hall of Justice. Yeah. Gibeon, it means a high hill or a hill city or a thing lifted up. And we know lifted up means you're lifting it up to Yah, offering to Yah. I said this when it's, when y'all first gave it this covenant that that when they didn't have no set place to worship, they went and found a high place, a high hill, where they may worship Yah. And one of them was Gibeon. There, and Gibeon was also a city, but they they found this high place, and they, and I think it was uh, 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 the wisest man. Who's the wisest man? Solomon. Solomon. He's I'm going to come get you. Tabernacle? Um, yeah, Tabernacle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The altar. You go to the altar. Mommy anyway, <laughs> okay. Now, we say these covenant everything, every day, every, every time before the four class, we say a covenant. Yep. We say a covenant. Mm -hmm. it like mine. This is Jeopardy. <laughs> Mine said, this is Gibeon, our high hill, Yahweh's authority, which is anointing, shall dwell here at all times. Verse King 9, 1 through 3. So and be it. it. We say it every time, every Program. time. To get in our heads. So why? Somebody tell me why, 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 why do we say this before every class? Camara! Yeah, why is there no microphone? Yeah, fire. To remember who we are. To remember who we are. Come on, your hands for that. That's a great question. To remember who we are. Anybody else? That was a great thing. Go ahead, that's what you know. To establish the atmosphere. To establish the atmosphere. Come on. <laughs> who else? Come on. I was going to say, um, to get on one mind and one accord. To get on one mind and one accord. Anybody else want to go? Go ahead, Elder Clinton. To rehearse the covenant so we can remember. To rehearse the covenant so we can remember. Oh. That's all repetition. Come on, get a hand for that. All those answers are 100%. summary on what this means 
and how does it fit in? For instance, I'll take mine. This is our Gibeon, our on our hill, which is Yahweh. This is our Gibeon, our high hill. Yahweh's authority, which is his anointing, shall dwell here at all times. First King 9, 1, 2, 3. So I will go, for, and I will go to First King 9, 1, 2, and 3. Are y'all listening? What? Yes, sir. You got a question? Why are you doing that? Yes, I joke with you, my son. You're so funny. But that's a first king, what? First king, nine, one, three, three. First king, nine, thank you very much. One, two, and three, I will read it. And it says, And it came to pass when Solomon had finished building of the house of the Lord and in the king's house and all that Solomon desire, which he was pleased to do, that the Lord appeared to Solomon a second time, as he had appeared unto him at Gibeon. And the Lord said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and thy supplication that thou hast made before me. I have hallowed this house which thou hast built to put my name there forever, and my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. Now, I go back to Gibeon, and it says, This is our Gibeon, which is Yahweh. Give me an eye high heel. Okay, I understand that. Yeah, with authority, there's no one should do it. Oh, okay, I see that. Just like, and I would write a comparison of the two, and I was, and I would have it how it affects us. You understand? Now, they go to catch 22. Starting tomorrow. So you got some homework tonight. Starting tomorrow, before each class, you will stand up, read one of the items, and explain it, and put what you got out of it. There's not going to be any kind of Deception. Uh, you ought to know what one is read before each class. For instance, my class is two, three, and twelve, I think. No, two, three, and eleven. So before my class, at random, I want to say, okay, Bellatonia. Brother MT, Minister one. And then Brother uh, uh, Venom will get up and do two. Minister, uh, Brother MT will do three. And Minister Buana will do eleven. Three summaries. You can write how much you want to, but when you stand up, make it brief. No more. Then two minute talk. No more two minute talk, but you can write as much as you want. Instead, I just want you to get. Amen. Everybody doing all twelve, and you will email it to me, so I know you done it. <laughs> Why, Pastor, are you getting like this? Somebody say it's a new era and a new time. A new era and a new time. It's a new era and a new time. If you want the um covenant the the numbers of each class I, I I can email it to you. Okay. I email it to you, uh, make, make a note from real one. Huh? See Ella Felina and um uh, everybody who wants the numbers email to them of each class. Don't worry about eight and nine. Huh? That's healthy here. Y'all got it? Y'all got it? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to give you, I'm gonna give you um, five minutes to let that sink in. 
So you come back here in five minutes. You think so? Come and get a Father Hand clap of praise.
Come on, give your father a hand and clap up. between you and Yah on what he expects of you at RTM. You remember over there in Habakkuk when it said write the vision and make it plain so he that run may read it and not faint? Well, what I'm going to read to you and if you don't have this, if you want it, get with Elder Felina. I'll be happy to email it to you. What you have here is your covenant, the vision that Yah wants you to run by. This is why you are here. This is why you come to RTM. This is our game plan. This is our instructions for the war. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Anybody think that's important? I think if, if you got battle plans, you got things you got to do, you need to have instruction. Yeah. Right? Right. Now, now, the reason I'm reading this is because sometimes you forget and you get mushy, mushy, and brainwashed with other stuff. Now, give me time, man. Don't, don't be tripping. Don't be rushing. I, I'm not giving you a lot of junk. The stuff I'm giving you right now is just basic. And we haven't met, met in so long. And I got to get this to you so you can understand who you are. We get back. Somebody said get back. Get back. We get back on what we're supposed to be doing. Because if you don't hear it, if you don't practice it, if you don't exercise it, then you're not going to do it. How many here memorize a no division statement? It's like... You understand? If we don't teach it to you, if we don't give it to you, how are you supposed to know? Okay? The reason I, I, I got kind of loud right then because it was like, Ugh. and you, I suggest you take this very serious because this came from y'all. There you go. Vision statement. To be a family of believers that lives and declares the truth of Yeshua as revealed by Yah through His Word and by His Spirit. I've seen the scene that posted before. Anybody seen that round? Yep. Yeah, 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 that need to be posted, supposed to be posted, and you need to know it. To be a family of what? Just right quick off the top of your head. Believers. To be a family of what? Believers. Yes. That lives and declares what? The truth. The truth. Good job. The truth of who? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeshua. Yeshua. Oh, yeah. The truth of Yeshua. 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 As revealed by who? Yeah. Yes, by Yah. I got it like this real quick. Truth of Yeshua. Because I hear something else. As revealed by who? Yah. 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 See? Through his what? His word. Through his word and by his what? Spirit. Yeah, it is. See? Come on, give yourself a hand for that. To be a family of believers that lives and declares the truth of Yeshua as revealed by Yah through his word and by his spirit. Everybody want to know why we declare the truth of Yeshua? No. Because it goes through. Because it goes through. No man can come to the Father but by the Son. Yeshua's Son is out. Let the Father sign him. Yeshua came in the Father's name. We go in Yeshua's name. Yes. Your objective. To do the work of Luke 4, 18 and 19. That's, that's what our, our, our objective are. And Luke 4, 18 and 19 says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. So what now? To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. That's that's saying that the last days, the Yeshua is going to come at the end of the last days. They don't call it Jubilee, they don't call it all sorts of names. But for us, the seventh year of the Lord is when Yeshua comes and reigns on a thousand year reign. Now is the time to get ready for that. Now is the time okay. of Yeshua's coming. He done came, he left us here to carry on his work, so now you can get all that stuff. The thousand year reign hadn't started, but Yeshua sure done came. Ha uh ha, -huh. I heard that. Ministry of Judgment, to do the work of Luke 4, 18 and 19. To do the work of 2 Timothy 4, 1 and 2, which oh, says, that one. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That's what we do. That's what we are now. To be a body of believers of one mind and one accord and one mouth that lives a life of faith through the Spirit, glorifying Yah, following the teachings of Yeshua the Messiah as expressed in his scriptures, slash word, parenthesis the Bible, and by his Holy Spirit. And the scriptures we got there from Romans 15, and 6 and Philippians 2 and 2. That's what you're here for. Amen. Amen. Now, if you don't mind, I like to take a little walk down memory lane. And <laughs> a short memory because I'm still young. Now, I like to say it like this. My mom had spare children. Yes. What? <laughs> Vanessa couldn't be here today. Oh. <laughs> so I brought my little sister, Felina. <laughs> Y'all remember this? It says, Quick.
questions. Too much information. Short attention span. Classes too long. I was about to say this. <laughs> Redundancy of information. Interesting topics dragged out too long. Not enough opportunity for class to participate. Don't like the story teaching style. Boring. More breaks. Anybody remember that? Yeah. That came from y'all to me. I was just thinking about that today. That's what y'all thought about. RTM. Anybody remember that? Clear as day. You want me to read it again? Nope. Sure. <laughs> what is up <laughs> How about this one? Um, man, man, man. How about this one? Head started day head started dreaded Sunday coming called so long. Head started dreading Sunday coming called so long. Feels like it's dragged out like too many classes. Overwhelmed. Feels like just there's there on some feels like just there on some of the classes. Not applying self. Feel being pressured if not doing something overwhelmed. Not bored with pastor. You know she needs to push past this and not go through the motion. No, it's, it has something to do with self and her walk with God. Feels like growing but not going back. After talking more, she admitted that she is not studying or putting stuff into practice. Also mentioned that the days she participated more in class and got more out of it, she studied and did more to prepare for classes. This, this comes from y'all now. Huh? Having no problem staying in church all day in Jamaica in church seven days a week all day long. I wonder who said that. That's <laughs> Likes the classes sometimes wants them to be big. It's going to be longer. Beat yourself up about sleeping. It feels like disrespectful to y'all and to pastor. Oh, what was it like? When I leave from home, I like this this so far. When I leave from home, where there is peace, to the ministry, where there is peace. When I come to the ministry, feel like he is around family and friends, relaxed, and can stay out of trouble. <laughs> Problem is people not getting involved, so they miss out. If you don't do the homework or put something into the classes, you will not get anything out of it. Right you right. said that. This, this comes from y'all. All these stuff comes from y'all. Uh, he doesn't want to miss anything. He never bored, especially when pastor preaches. Oh, that's me. Oh. Encourage a mirror to ask questions if she don't understand. This is what he does and will keep asking until he understands. No matter how well he takes notes, you'll miss something and when he goes back to listen, he hears something he didn't That's even remember true. being said. Loves when pastor used the stories. It helps him understand. They got one person hated and other people love it. It's that person false. Same to me. As a walk down memory lane, y'all y'all remember that? Yes. That's what you thought about RTM. Anybody got want to say anything? You can't prove that. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. You, it. It wasn't none of it. You guys wrote it, so you have a lot of you said it out loud. Some of you said something. Like I said, he said, y'all said it out loud. Or she said, she did this. Anybody got nothing that want to say? I like the story. <laughs> 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 
But but it, it, isn't it crazy how your mind used to be? Yes. Hmm. How many still feel that way? Some of them. Yeah, which one was mine? <laughs> So y'all still feel that one? I agree with Mr. Minister. What, just, just make a man. But see, but see, see. <laughs> all, all the blood, boy. That could be longer. That wasn't the question. It's okay, I'm finna, I'm finna finish up. What's your brown music? Y'all ain't, I'm surprised nobody had nothing to say about that. I mean, I was startled when I read. That's some hurting stuff up in there. Yeah. I don't know how to stay here. I live with mom. I'm about to say, that's nice, dear. I'm glad you think my stories are boring, but. <laughs> I'll let you know where I start to <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know the temple with you, man. First day suggestions and comments. People ought to want to be there. So motivation to pay attention and be alert shouldn't be an issue. These are comments. They said, first they suggestions and comments. People ought to want to be there. So motivation to pay attention be alert shouldn't be an issue. Get a good night's rest on Saturday night. Woo! Four days service will require some energy. Yes. I love that one. I think I wrote that. Get back from breaks on time and we will Ooh. get back from breaks on time will help with timing and another day. Yep. With that said, get in there on time will help as well. Woo! Somebody preaching. Suggestions for keeping alert and paying attention. Distraction <laughs> cause problems with this. People oh, getting up and down constantly and causing confusion. Asking obvious questions about topics that they should already know. I'm saying these are, I'm saying these are things we just said ten times in a row when you ask an obvious question about it. I'm saying. I have no idea. I really have no idea who I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. Who say I'm saying I'm all the time? I put a just in there. Just I'm saying these are things we just. Yes. That's probably me. Keep people involved more. Pastor does a lot of this and it really helps. We'd like to see more in Bible study to ensure people are paying attention. I wrote this whole list. Being said. I wrote this whole list. Maybe call people up to help or role play like Pastor has done a few times. I ain't say that. I think if people stand up a few times, be able to keep them alert and alert. Mom said that. Please don't interrupt the speaker. <laughs> what? It really is a big distraction when the speaker is constantly talking over people and struggling to get a point across. Elder so Felina. A simple hand raise is all that's needed here. Yes. Memory lane! Um, <laughs> I'm telling the mom. I, 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 boy, the prophets, boy, I know they ain't got stoned, boy. Yeah. That's some serious stoning. Yeah. Do I got nothing to say? No. <laughs> I don't remember what I wrote. Mommy said Val was here. Yeah, that was Val. I blame it all on her. That's what Val wrote that one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was a good one. Yeah. No, all, that came, all those came from Archie and uh, people. Partners, I don't know the word for it, but I was reading it and I was like, wow, that's amazing how far you come out with them still feel that way. The brakes was the best idea. At least you don't act like it. <laughs> that's all that matters. <laughs> now for the good part. Woohoo! Cupcakes? RTM responsibility! <laughs> Go to the bathroom. Montreal! One first one. Outreach the whole camera. Fingers on right direction. All bags are brought up. Check garbage, garbage can. AC, seven oh, degrees. The <laughs> That's what's written down here. Jordan! Oh. House through clothes. Chairs clean, lined up right. Fans on. Air station in order. 
All cameras on. Focus. Double check. Make sure production setup. I do good job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Senior. He went party. Can you come back to him? Huh? He went party. Can you come? Okay. Oh, here he comes. Born. Let me know when we get back. Born. He's here. Taking picture. Sound. Internet. Help where you need it. Help where you need it. That's his favorite tissue. <laughs> Bathrooms open. Yeah. Other room ready to go. Wheelchair. Past this area set up. Corner books. Organ area set up. Bath stuff. Bags put up. Water cooler. And at the first break, Montreal check garbage can. This stuff y'all still should be doing most of it. After the first class break, but John is supposed to be checking the garbage can now. I personally ain't gonna do that. Mm -hmm. After each class, you should be checking the garbage can. Mm -hmm. Check garbage cans. That I don't mean go tell somebody four, they four change. <laughs> yes. Terrell's not here. Chanel, make sure sound and production. Trash, a mirror, help elder finance set up, trash, senior, set up past the area, trashes, trash, one, help more needed, trash. Yeah, but trash. And we have guest female, a mirror attends, Jarrell helps, Selena, mics, Montreal chairs. Y'all remember how to do that? Yeah. Somebody come up to pray and get it. Kind of tight, we move those chairs out the way. I like last time how we done it. Uh, when, when they was praying, uh, how this last first day we had somebody here and was able to come through here without tripping. Mm -hmm. uh, I like this, so you know, we should probably do that instead of moving them on. It should be real serious. We did have one there. And, just slide over by that thing and then bring it around to the hill. And just go like that. That was, that was pretty tight. Y'all get some out of this or am I wasting my time? Do y'all remember what y'all supposed to do? Yes. Huh? Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cornonia class? Yes. I just skipped that, huh? Yep. Hmm. It's not fire. <laughs> Everyone, before leave, make sure area is clean. Sometimes we be leaving, it be downright crazy. Mom, mom, girl, go out. We leave. We leave out of here picking up stuff, and then we go in the other area and we going out there picking up stuff. For the same, just be picking up stuff, changing out stuff. Like the way everybody is. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Almond, I, I read it over briefly because I want to get it in your mind what you're supposed to be doing. Because we're going back to that. We're going back to it. Uh -uh. A little bit more stricter. Because we're real loose in here and I don't mind that. But I do mind when things not being clean. When the other Selena got to come up here and move everything and clean. Uh, Evelyn and Elle did it too a couple of times. And it's very, it shouldn't even get that bad because if you clean as you go, you wouldn't have much to do. Just vacuum, really. But we're not cleaning as we go. And, and Jonathan, you're not checking those cans. You can't be. Uh, those types of things need to be done. I mean, after every class, you just go look at them. That's not hard to do at all. And then at the end, then you change them, you change them. You know, we got kids with diapers, we got people eating, we got stuff that happens. Clean pants we go. We're seeing, uh, he does a great job. And, uh, but uh, then we need to tighten up on the cords. And, and, and Chanel, your area too, those cords, but 
uh, things, uh, if we do those things, we, we run. Y'all pretty much got the, if somebody come in and need prayer stuff, I was very, I was very proud. You guys got that down pretty good. Uh, you guys jump in and do stuff. Uh, although I do, when it comes to like laying hands on someone, I, I want the ministers, if they there, to do it first. Uh, and then, uh, if no minister here, the elders, you know, of course, the elders jump in where needed. And then the ministry assistant. I mean, I mean then uh, commission steward and then ministry assistant. You understand what I'm saying? And ministers, uh, Minister Chanel, Minister Warren, uh, Minister Chanel, you guys know the uh, equipment and, and, and that department, but she also has a lot of physical stuff to do. Uh, she really has a full plate, but like I said, sound and stuff, that's her department. And I'm bringing it up for a specific reason, and, and that's the one I got apartment. You guys, y'all area, man, I said this before, and I'm telling you again, work it. I mean, make that thing astounding. You know, some things may not work out, some things maybe will. But I, I became real fluent and got real better. I'm just using that word like that, at preaching, because I was given something they said, everything they gave me, I did it immaculately. I really did. My wife tell me this all the time, and I didn't know it, and I started noticing. She said, you, 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 you have to have everything perfect, don't you? Make me sick. Everything not going to be perfect all the time. I didn't, I didn't know I was like that. Yes. And then I started noticing. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> the word got to be in there. Right, that doesn't matter that community on God, I mean, it got to be in the right spot, mm -hmm. the pillar got to be in the right spot, everything got to be oh. right. Are we having it? <laughs> <laughs> but see, I'm telling you, what they did, y'all listening to me? Yes. They gave me something that nobody want to do. Karen. Hey, that's a good job. And then... I made it mine, you know, they, they paid for somebody to teach me, I learned, and I made it mine. I worked it, and went on and on, and then even if, then they, you know, everything I did, then I got to uh, ministry, you know, on a certain night, okay, we want you to run, and it's Bob stuff. Okay, and I worked it. Now look what happened. Faithful over the few, you gain too much. Learn how to do something. I didn't wait for the pastor to say, come here. When he was setting up, I was there looking, watching, learning. Uh, Elder Linnell used to work sound better than me. Matter of fact, at one point, the other ministry I was in, he wouldn't let nobody run sound but Nell. Now I used to ask, I was like, what are you doing? Here I am, I, I ain't telling them at that time. You know, I used to rap. I used to, you know, fool around with beats. I know how to turn up speakers and, you know, I had a big learn it. What are you doing? I'm different that. And, and I don't know. Favorite two. Okay, so I just started learning. I just wanted to learn. I wanted to see what she was doing. And then all of a sudden, you know, speakers. I'm setting them up. Cleaning out things. I mean, make it yours. I don't, y'all know by now, I don't try to micromanage. But I do expect things to be done. And when things not done, like I get something, hey, we can't do this, and I look at the time, it's 15 minutes till. You don't, you got here at 30 minutes before time, and you tell me 15 minutes before it's time that we can't do something that's vital. No, I don't like that. Or look around, you're responsible for mics and mics not set up and you sitting around out there laughing and playing. No, I don't like that. 
or you know before every service what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do before every service. Pray. Pray. It's time for service. And you not praying, but playing. I said, come back in. It's no two o'clock. I come back at three o'clock and we'll start service at three fifteen. Why do you think I said that? <laughs> and so you got back at three o'clock so you can come in, the music gonna be playing. And you can rush it. Three ten. Yeah. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Work your area, work your station. A lot of you doing a great job. I really don't have nothing major about anybody that's here today. <laughs> but, you know, it's pretty much how I get what you want. I ain't got nothing, I ain't got nothing major with anybody really. I mean, Y'all understand? Well, we understand. <laughs> anything? Anybody want to say anything? Go ahead, Wilson. Uh, can you repeat uh, what you said earlier about the, uh, the, uh... Homework? Yes. I, I know about the homework, but I, you, you said something before that about we should learn all the, uh, covenants. Man, man. Can you just repeat? Please repeat what you said earlier about everything about the, the comments and the uh, yes. Yes. I, I heard about the vision statement, but like you said, we should, we're supposed to learn all of these, all 12, by tomorrow? No, or? no, no. Uh, that, that's the homework. Uh, you're supposed to, what you do, you, you um, read them, then you read the Bible verse, and what you do, you, you just try. write a brief summary on how that is pertaining to RTM, Gibeon, and, and what you just read. For instance, I gave the example, and I'll give it to you again. I, I read it. And I'm, glad, I'm glad you had time to really make sure everybody understands. Uh, you got a paper in front of you, right? Yes. Number two, I'm doing that because it's real short. Well, I'll do, go down to number 11. Okay. That's real short. It said, in this house, because of the anointing, we're in one mind, one accord, and one passion. Acts 2, 1 through 5. So I'll go to Acts 2. I'll get there and go to Acts 2. One through five, and I read it. And it says that when the day of Pentecost was full of fun, they were all with one accord and one place. And suddenly there came sounds from heaven as a mighty, as, as a rushing mighty wind. In the field of homes where they were standing, there appeared unto them clothing tongues like a fire, and it sat upon each of them, and they were filled with the Holy Ghost in heaven, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And they were dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews, and devout men, every nation under heaven. Now I said, okay, but well what in the world does that have to do with what I just read? So I go back and I look at it and say, in the house because they're anointed, we're in one mind, one accord, one passion. Oh, the Spirit came in when they was in one mind, one accord, and one passion. You saw that? Okay. I would write that down. I would say, okay, um, according to Acts 2, 1 through 5, when they was in one mind, one accord, the Spirit came in, which is the anointing. And so, in this house, we're going to be in one mind, one accord, so the anointing can come in. That's a brief summary of what. And if you're going to do that to every one, every one of these. And then what I'm going to do starting tomorrow, just random. I, I ain't going to, it's going to be out of blue. Some, some people might go two or three times. I really don't care. I'm just going to, wherever the father put them on, I'm going to randomly say that. For each class, I'm going to say, okay, brother, say if they say it's uh, whatever, and let's say we do number 10 for whatever. So I'm going to say, Brother Senior. So you get up there. I say, What's that, Brother Senior and Camilla? And you get up there. 
and you know, if you get up there, do number 10. And then the other person come do whatever number they do. Got it? Sir. Yeah. That's all you need to know? Yes. Anybody have any more questions? Jonathan, you need to do them too. You need to do the best that you can. It's not that hard of an assignment. I'm going to call you too. Yeah. And and sword woman, you too. <laughs> <laughs> you got sword of spirit trying to cut me. You trying to say shut up. <laughs> Any more questions? And you said to do with uh, the feeling for the yeah. verses for the yes for our e class. Yeah, yeah. Give it her and I email it to you. Whoever wants. Who wants anything as far as cupcakes? <laughs> this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get you guys to you understand and not to say you understand and don't. So what I did because fourth night, are you listening to me? Fourth night service was an important message. It was very important. And people did not understand a lot of what was said. And so I had Elder Felina type up my notes. And what I did, I said, if anybody want them, I send them to you. And then you can listen to the program, listen to the message. And then you can have the notes right in front of you. And you can see what I'm talking about as far as definitions and all this and that. You know how to keep flipping. And it'll help you get a better understanding. And I'm willing to send it to you. I'm also, the stuff, the uh, vision statement, if you need a copy of that, get, I, I email it to you. Everything that we have is not a secret up here. If you want it, just ask. Nine out of ten times, we'll make a way. You're so nice. So, Keep that in mind. And the notes I have for, that goes for any message that I minister to. I, I, I'm not trying to hide anything. What I do, I, I try to keep it, you know, on the low so you don't get preconceived notions. And I allow the spirit to come in. That's why I don't advertise. Well, tomorrow we're going to, I don't want you to get preconceived notions. But after I minister something, if, if you want my notes, I don't mind sharing. It don't matter. That's y'all. He gave me that. I didn't think of this on my own. It's, all this stuff is y'all. I'd be happy to share. So, you know, I was showing other friends some stuff I did about the, the, the evil spirit. Ooh. If you want that, I don't mind sharing. If you want to look at it, I, I'll show you after class. And if you want it, I'll send it to you. No big deal. Amen. Amen. Uh, so that, that, that's it. That, I'm, I'm, I'm through. I don't want to hold you no more. But I am serious. I want you to think about your position. I want you to get serious about what you're doing. That don't mean you can't have fun. That means that your job's going to be done. Talk to kids a long time ago. You can play all you want to as long as your chores done. You can play. You, you can spend on your head on the roof. I don't care as long as your chores done. You can have fun and, and be mature and, and, and be professional. So when people come in, they feel the anointing and then they see the atmosphere. Of, I, I, I tell you the truth, man. I look, I look back down and I, I see Abby. I remember Abby was terrible. I mean, super terrible. Now, Brazilian and Camaro, they, they, they work with her and she sit up there and she she don't really, you know, do nothing to make distractions. She sit there, unless Jonathan bothered her or something, you know, yes. she sit there and she pretty much quiet and do what she do. And now I, I, I look at her and I was so proud. I said, man, that, that's, I love that, man. That, that, that shows something. And, um, Jonathan, you know, he older now, but he used to feel, but he is out of control. And Jonathan still be out of control. <laughs> but he's not as bad as he used to be. But he's at a level now that he has to do something to 
that's why I, you know we had him working the camera and other stuff. He would have been working the camera had he did what I told him to do. I told him to do the simple, simple thing. The garbage. And, and I won't say it no more. I won't see how could he handle it. Taking out the garbage. And he failed big time. And I said, okay. Yeah, I guess he wants to sit back there and color the rest of his life. Hey. Because you can't skip over the garbage, you go to the camera. Yeah. Yeah. These get mad at me at work, brother. See? Yeah, you can't skip over the dishwasher you come from. When I was a cook at my other restaurant, well, you cook on over there in that dish room. Or you can go home. You got to pay your dues. Huh? I Right, now. Any more questions? Great, 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 great job. Oh, uh, yes. Thank you, Mr. Solomon. Thank you for me. I want you also to be thinking about witnessing. How would you go about witnessing? Amen. Mm. Just think about it. I mean, it's not never. That kind of good. Just think about how you would do this. What would you use? What would you do? Do you know how? And then next time we have a other thing, I'll address it. And when I address it, we're going to learn how to work this again. Amen. And then if that be all, Hmm? You do this, man? Get up out of the hand, I'm <laughs> Yes, in the universe. Um, now remember, you're supposed to do some cleaning. Get, if you don't know what you need to do, if you don't know what to do, get with Elder, um, Selena or me or I would gladly show you what to do. <laughs>